Viewers at home, welcome back to another video. This AI space has grown and evolved so rapidly. So many different AI programs and little open source projects have been released thus far, and it is really hard to keep track of them, I'm not gonna lie. But I do have a solution in the works for you viewers at home to this equation. Of course, we have the YouTube channel. I cover lots of different AI projects on this, but there is stuff that I don't end up getting to actually cover on the channel, unfortunately, just because there's so much out there. Now, if you followed my Discord server, which is linked down in the description below, you might already know about this, but I have a website, mattvidpro.com, which is linked down in the description of this video. Unicorn Trainwreck actually created this website, so it is pretty professionally done, I have to say. And there are still a few things that are in the works with the website. But if you go into the menu tab of the website and go to the AI tech links section, you'll find the AI master list of all sorts of really fun and interesting AI projects that I've had listed in this big Google Doc. So if you're looking to see, you know, the list of all of the text to image generators or every text to video that we've seen so far or audio AI interfaces, stuff like that, it's all in a big list that is right on my website. And at some point, it won't be a Google Doc, it'll be integrated into the website. So first off, folks, welcome to the Matt VidPro website. Of course, we have this really cool little lemon-themed animation going on here. And if we scroll down here, we can see, you know, about me, and then we have latest video. I actually need to update this. I'm a few videos behind. And then we've got some information on popular AI tech. We've got these four links right up here. Obviously link right to the Discord, video link, this takes you right to the channel, AI links, this is the one that I discussed earlier, and then we've got the Lemon Gallery. Here is the master list thus far, and the website we're talking about today is linked on here. But as you can see, we have like probably over 50 text to image generators here listed, some AI text models, AI video models. Yeah, we've just got a lot in here so far, and it's not even done. You can also suggest changes to this list while it's still being created. Anyways, at the very end of the list here, we have useful general AI websites, and this is what I was talking about, these AI sites that provide more than just one text-to-image model, for example. Replicate, like I mentioned, Hugging Face. The one I want to talk about today is pollinations.ai. This website is so cool. Right here, right when you get on the site here, your engine for personalized media, Pollinations curates and combines AI models to match your vision. That's what I like to hear. They're gonna help me find the right AI models for whatever I want to do. If we go right to the Explore tab here, they say, what will you create? And we've got some different tabs here that we can pick from. Anything just gives us, you know, some maybe popular models and stuff. There's so much to cover on this site. We're not gonna get through all of it today. But let's say I just wanted image. Obviously, we're going to get some basic image stuff here. But we've got these special curated stable diffusion based models here like Pimped Diffusion. Pimps the prompt using GPT-3 and runs stable diffusion on the pimped prompts. So basically, this is very similar to another video that I made previously where I used OpenAI's GPT-3 text model to turn around and enhance the prompt ideas that I was coming up with. And this has it basically all built right into stable diffusion right here on the website. This is something I haven't seen hosted anywhere else. We've also got clip guided style. This apparently is really good at faces. Are you dollies on here? We've got another RU Real ESR GAN Super Resolution Upscaler. Disco Diffusion, which is a fan favorite, I have to say. A lot of you guys love Disco. Majesty Diffusion, which is a mix of Lay Ion and Disco Diffusion. So this is kind of like a more coherent Disco Diffusion. We've also got the classic Dolly Mini as well. I gotta try Pimped Diffusion. I mean, I honestly have struggled to get really good Lemon prompts through Stable Diffusion before, but we'll see if we can't do it with Pimped Diffusion. Let's do a classic Lemon prompt and click the Create button. All right here, so it's taken a little bit of time, and we actually got three images out of this, which is pretty interesting. This one's actually really, really nice for a Stable Diffusion image that involves my classic Lemon prompt. These two are very, very similar, but they're slightly different here. But the background of the lighting is really nice in all of these. So I think, you know, Pimp Diffusion is definitely helping us create better prompts here. Classy photo of a tabby cat. And I've noticed the creation here. They haven't really tried to charge me for credits anything. It seems to be similar to Hugging Face where you get a queue position. And this queue is probably going to fill up after this video releases, by the way. So 
If things take a really long time to generate, I'm sorry, it's because probably this video got released the day you're trying. But either way, it actually does take quite a lot of time to generate, but I don't see any credits or pricing thus far. Okay, so this one actually came out really nice. I've got a nice, pretty coherent tabby cat right here. This one's not too bad either. Minimal glitching and weirdness going on with these images. So they look like they're pretty nice. Let me know if you guys notice better results with Pimped Diffusion down in the comments below or on my Discord server. I love this Kermit the Frog image they used for Pimped Diffusion. They've also got a Stable Diffusion Animation, but I think that is in the video category, which is actually quite expansive. There's a lot of really nice video creation options that they have here. Create an animation interpolating from one prompt to the next over time. Turns an image into an animated 3D scene by hallucinating colors and structures. That's super cool. We got to try that. That's photo to 3D. All of these are text to video options, by the way. So this is clip guided the uh, VQ GAN. We've also got like this illusion one and this one as well. This is actually a video enhancer right here that you could try out that apparently makes videos smoother and high definition. This one looks like it's really uh, interesting here. A long inference, high quality synthetic speaker probably requires Collab Pro at the moment. This is really cool. Upload an audio file to generate a music video that moves with every sound and that the music produces. And it's basically like abstract art music video generation. And this one right here is the other one that caught my eye. This basically gives you really cool results by taking two separate but similar images and blending them together to create realistic movement here so this is like interpolating frames in video i really want to give this a photo 3d a shot here as you can see they give you a little example of an upload image like this weird alien thing and then it sort of tries to make the photo 3d for example like zooming in on the ai generated image i'm gonna try this really awesome lemon generation from my lemon contest on open art and we'll just click the create button all right, so it seems that this 3D one, for some reason, does not seem to be working for me at the moment. The stable diffusion animation is also something that we have seen before on websites like Replicate, but it also does seem to be offered, unlike Replicate, for completely free at the moment here on Pollinations. You can make these awesome little stable diffusion animations as the prompt slowly, slowly changes over time. And this one's pretty crazy with all these creepy, glittery clowns. I've also got some audio models here on Pollinations. Apparently this one can split full music tracks into vocal, bass, drums, and others. So it can take audio and split it into the different instruments. Some of you people more interested in the audio side of things will be interested in that. This one does seem to be straight up audio generation. GPT and Neo is also available as a text model here on Pollinations as well which is really, really cool. Now, it is important to mention that a lot of these models here, you need to use this text bar unlocker thing here. So you have to press start here on this. It takes you to a Google collab. And you can tell this is still, you know, very much in development because it's a little confusing here. It says, click on the runtime. If you see it in another language, it's the fifth item around here. I'm really not too sure what they're talking about because it's just sort of pointing up here at nothing for me. And this says, wait for the green light here, go back to pollinations. I see, so that Google Collab is to connect to pollinations. So this is what allows a lot of these pollinations to be completely free on their website. It uses Google Collab. I'm just going to go ahead and try to run the pollinator here, which is six cells or seven cells. Okay, so this actually isn't as complicated as I was making it out to be. Basically, all we have to do is run all of these cells that are contained in this little pollinator right here. As you can see, these are all now uh, greenlit, except for I think this one. But if we go back to the website now, since we did that separate thing, we can actually go ahead and use GPT Neo through the website here, which is a text model. They've got some different things here. They've got story, food recipes, uh, erotic, and AI dungeon. <laughs> Interesting. We'll just stay with story here. All right, so I've put my input here. One day, a beautiful pineapple and lemon went to the beach together. Post a so pollination's a social media feeds. No. Create. All right, now the whole website has changed. And it actually tells us what we're connected to. My face is blocking it one second. If you look right over here, it tells us what GPU we're connected to inside of the Google Collab notebook. So that's how they're able to make this for available for free. And it's a really good little compromise here because you guys are going to be able to just 
get free AI from Google Collab, but it all actually runs through this website. So it's really easy to navigate. It's not as bad as like clicking a bunch of cells in Google Collab. And I really hope they refresh this and make it a little bit easier to understand because I was really confused at first, but it does seem to be pretty easy to get working here for all these different models. And in the Google Doc here, we can actually see it trying to generate my GPT Neo result. So this is actually a really good solution for a completely free AI website that all goes through Google Collab on the back end. This is really awesome stuff. It is really nice that all of this is free, but you viewers must be warned that this is taking quite a lot of time to generate, but it's still going here. We got, we're at 69%. Okay, so finally our results are in for GPT Neo text generator. This is the story one, like we said earlier. The prompt, one day a beautiful pineapple and a lemon went to the beach together. The next, it was two people who walked on the same path at twilight. What's that mean, I asked when we rode up on the train. Okay, so it's just telling a story about rural China, Beijing, Chinese man in the Western clothing. I never really considered it. What might happen if someone saw me naked? What is going on with this story? Very random here. Okay, so the first response, though, is a little bit more normal. Pineapple and lemon went to the beach. When they got there, a sand dune hid them from view so that no one else could see. The next time it was in their car, on the road, a man said to himself, if I can't get home alone, he thought, and drove faster. He ran into an oncoming truck, but didn't stop. Okay, yeah, these are just crazy ramblings. Idiot, you're supposed to eat pineapple. But he was laughing too hard now because it had become very clear to both of them what he had done. Okay, yeah, these are just very random and hilarious texts that have been generated here. But all of these are available for free, which is just so cool. You can do, like, the awesome Stable Diffusion animations and such. Just really, really exciting stuff, especially all of this text to video stuff you can try all for free goes through Google Collab. Like I said, it's very easy to set up. We just got to go in here. When you first get here, all you have to do is basically close down the pineapple. Jesus. The pollinator, not pineapple. And just run this combination of seven cells here. And then you can go back in your pollinations and continue on with whatever you were trying to do. So yeah, this website's really exciting. Actual free AI for you guys using Google Collab as like a backend. Awesome stuff. Absolutely love it. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Viewers, check out the Discord linked down below for the absolute latest on AI news and such, and also latest on the channel, and you might be able to chat with me and other viewers of the channel as well. Actually, in my Discord, we just got a full Dolly 2 bot, so you'll be able to prompt the Dolly bot, and it will generate Dolly 2 images for you guys, which is really exciting and really darn cool. And we've also got a GPT-3 bot and obviously the Midjourney bot as well. But yeah, exciting stuff. Thanks for watching. Check out the Matt Vid Pro website and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.